Hello and welcome to the Jordan Experience Podcast. My name is Troy Jordan, and today marks our first official episode with a little bit of real content. I don't want to get too serious. Uh, we, we like to keep it, uh, keep it light around here. Um, as I mentioned uh, in the first episode, we're, you know, we're, we, we're, we're hooking up some guests here shortly, so don't get too uh, turned away from the, from the solo content here. But uh, let's jump into some, uh, into some uh, news, I guess. So obviously, I'm sure everybody's heard Queen Elizabeth II passed away yesterday. And, uh, well, depending on when this comes out, it's currently Friday. So I'm hoping to get this out the same day. So she passed out. She she passed away yesterday, and um, there's been a uh, kind of a uh, divide between people. Like people kind of um, saying they could really they could really care less, and other people saying they um, you know it's it's a it's a very sad thing. And of course, I think death is is a sad thing, and now the I'm sure people over in uh, the English Isles are probably uh, upset by that by those that by that news and um, now I guess King Charles King Charles the third yeah King Charles the third is now the reigning monarch she Queen Elizabeth to to kind of talk about her a little bit actually um, she was 96 years old and she. She was ruling since 1952, the longest, the, I think she was the second longest reigning monarch ever in history. So quite the accomplishment. Um, I think she was, I think there's obviously things that uh, you could criticize her for, but I think just, you know, having that historic record is, I think, something to... Uh, to remember, I think. Anyway, moving on. Obviously, we can't just skip over that. That's a pretty major event. Uh, anyway, moving forward, let's talk a little bit about the NFL. Um, the NFL season started yesterday, Thursday, with the Bills and the Rams. And, of course, the Bills uh, obliterated the Rams. The final score was 31-10. to Um... I was quite happy with it, as I have the Bills quarterback, Josh Allen, on my fantasy football team, who scored me like 31 points. So, obviously, I'm very happy about that. The reigning Super Bowl champions, the Los Angeles Rams, their quarterback, Matthew Stafford, threw three interceptions. So, not looking good. And their so-called vaunted defense, LA's quote-unquote vaunted defense, gave up 31 points to the Bills. So, Bengals fans out there... Um, if you guys make the playoffs and if you guys make the Super Bowl again, don't be worried about the Rams because the Rams look like they're going to, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I want to say struggle because I still think they'll make the playoffs, but I think they're, they won't be able to win the division, I don't think. It's going to be pretty difficult, but I think they're going to have to actually battle in the playoffs and not just kind of be able to, uh, not run through people, but they, they, they they battled, but they won pretty. I mean, they just have a lot of talent on their team, really. So, Rams not that scary. Bills pretty scary. Also, considering that my I'm a Tennessee Titans fan, and considering that my the Titans play the Bills next week, uh, the Titans play the Giants week one. But next week after this weekend, they play the Bills. So I'm kind of worried about that. I don't want to see the Bills you know, put up 45 on my team, which they might because our defense is um, fairly lackluster, to put it in a nice way. So, enough about NFL. I'm sure you know what's up. Um, I've got, let's talk about, uh, you know, some, so what's what's some happenings here at uh, Goshen, especially with with what's going on with this channel. Um, I know the first episode kind of ended off on a little bit of a, yeah, uh, I don't know a cliffhanger because I talked a little bit about the about skits, but didn't really go into it in a lot of detail. So, we the the plan is me and some folks, and obviously, like I said before, feel free to email me or and whatnot to, if you want if you want to get involved. I'll, I'm going to start you know 
probably advertising spots and, and posting stuff about it and so to get people and you know if anyone's interested. However, the skits themselves, we've got um, what we've with the general. I don't want to you know reveal the plot because that would kind of ruin the whole point. But what we've got planned is a major kind of episode thing. That's going to be it's going to be a trilogy. It's going to be in three parts. So we're going to do a major episode thing and then kind of release smaller little kind of whatever you want kind of things, whether it's like funny or, you know, it's just like a, you know, a little bit or a sketch or whatnot in between those larger pieces. So it's going to be, you know, like larger and the three larger ones are going to be connected, obviously. And the little ones probably not. They're going to probably be their own standalone thing. So it'll be like big episode, you know, and then some little ones and then a big one and some little ones and then the big one. And hopefully we will... You know, we're going to try and put in a lot of effort into these, so hopefully they're entertaining for you all. And uh, we can get them done by the end of the year because obviously, you know, it's my senior year. We're going to have a lot of, um, at least for me, I'm going to have a lot of things to do and responsibilities to take care of. So hopefully we can um, make a product that's, I don't know, worth our time, I guess, is what I would say. Um, I just want to, you know, be able to I want to be able to explain the what's actually going on a little bit more rather than just go, "Okay, guys, we're making some skits" and then not really um just kind of throw it out there and leave it. You know what I mean? All right. So our last little piece that I wanted to talk about in this episode is uh, something that's happening right here in our school. I don't, I'm not going to say anything bad. Don't worry. At lunch yesterday, the assistant principal, Miss Isaacs, I believe, wonderful lady. I've talked to her a handful of times myself, I think. Um, but she was, she had. Uh, talked to the whole room to the lunch room and was saying that the lunch before us which would mine which would have been B lunch was like uh messy I guess and they kind of left things out and stuff and so uh, that makes everybody's lives harder their lives harder um you know the 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 custodian's life harder and so I'm like I looked around and I just saw like I kid you not I saw I have a picture of it too chewed up like salami like it was like a ball of like pepperoni or salami or some sort of lunch meat it was i could tell it was chewed up by like the teeth marks on it and i kid you not it was chewed up salami just balled up on one of the stairs on the sides of the cafeteria so kind of foul pretty gross and then even later the, there was, like, a bunch of note cards that were, like, scattered everywhere and stuff, just making a mess. And, I'm, and, and to make a point, I'm just like, can we not do that, folks? Like, because I get it. It might be, like, hee-hee funny, but it's just, like, causing problems. And I'm, I just want to, like, end off on, like, a, you know... We can do better than that. I think this is a great school. I think there's gr there's great people in here, and I think, uh, and I'm not, you know, if if whoever did it is listening to this, I'm not like, you know, trying to lambast you or anything, but just like as a whole group, I think we can uh, we can do a lot better. Um, anyway, quick little easy episode this week. Next week, we've got a guest on, so look out for that, and the skits will be coming soon. Uh, thank you for tuning in, kind of just like, you know, some rando things, you know, for, for this week, but it should uh, it should get more topical here soon, because um, I, I kind of have to jump through some hoops before I can get uh, anything real kind of rolling. So, that being said, thank you for watching. Um, make sure you... Uh, Tune into the GNN episodes as well and watch uh, watch their stuff. I'm in that too. So show them some love and appreciation and uh, have a good weekend. Thanks for listening.